Hey everybody, it is Erin Reed from Erin Reed Makes and welcome to the premiere episode of Erin Makes With. This is a episode, this is a series that I have got going on that's almost every week. It's every week for at least the first seven weeks where I bring in a new special guest where we talk about all things crafty and creative. We do a little chit chat. We get to know the special guest. We do a little crafting together and there might be some prizes and giveaways. So my furry first special guest on my show, mm -hmm. Aaron Makes With, is Tammy Louise from TLC Designs. So welcome, welcome. Let me Hi. bring you on in. Hey, hey. how Hi, are you Aaron. doing? Oh my good. How Hello. are you? Yes, beer. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining the show and the premiere episode. Yay! I know You're on the so pilot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope I call it justice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll be absolutely fine. So Wonderful. we always start the show off with a little fun chit chat. And so I have a series of fun questions for you. So we're going to start yes. off with just something a little easy, right? Nothing too right. horrible and nothing mm -hmm. too crazy, Good. which is what is your favorite colors? Oh, I am the autumn orange, burnt red, mahogany kind of loving girl. I love anything that's real rich pigment. Um, I've never really gotten into a vintage soft kind of pink, but I love everything. It's like dark rich colors. Oh, sorry. I probably touched mm. the mic. Kind of yeah. like your logo, right? Yes. <laughs> there you go. Gerber there Daisies you go. in all the bright colors. Yeah. And if you're watching, if you would love to comment on what all these questions I'm asking to get the fun banter, ch you know, chit chat going, by all means, drop your comments in there. If I, as I ask the questions, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say as well. Yeah. So this is kind of a weird one because I have an answer for this one. So, but it, just for people to know, look, favorite color right here. <laughs> <laughs> but this weird. isn't about me. This is about her. So uh, what was the color. weirdest thing you bought during the pandemic? Oh, um, I thought about this the other day. We couldn't find toilet paper anywhere. So we literally used my husband's company and went online and bought, I think it was like 168 rolls of toilet paper in bulk. Oh my <laughs> goodness. I have ever done that before. And I always thought, well, somebody stole a hundred rolls off the, the shelf. So I really need to make sure we stored it in the shed. The house wasn't big enough to store that many rolls. So that's the oddest thing I ever had to purchase during the epidemic. Yeah. And a mask. All of us have really, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, we all have, and then now we have all the decorative masks and all the fun things that we're doing and just yeah. like all the crazy things. Exactly. So totally love that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And here's another fun one. Where will you go? Like what's on the top of the list of places that you would like to visit as soon as you feel it's safe to go and travel? My family wants to go to Disney World in florida fun. <laughs> yes um where you can touch things and, and not worry about it that's when we're ready to go but yeah we usually go annually so we miss it yeah i it's always a we got to go to time. disneyland right before everything shut like we were in disneyland the week before they closed the park and it still hasn't opened yet so mm -hmm. like i'm just remembering all the fun times that we go travel but i, I truly i don't know when i'm going to be able to go travel again <laughs> Well, so and, we'll enjoy doing stuff like this in the meantime, right? That's true. That's true. Not being able to and not wanting to or two different things. We always want to, but you know, you have to be safe for yes, everybody else. Very, and very you. true. Yeah. I'd love to hear where you guys want to travel to. I mean, even if it's just like, I want to go to the beach, you may not have an exact destination. I think for me, like I want to put my feet into the beach. I want to put my feet in the water and just, <laughs> oh, you What's know, your favorite that beach, kind of a thing. Aaron? So... My parents live up in Vancouver Island and oh. there is so many amazing beaches there. And my favorite thing to do up on those beaches is to hunt for sea glass. So you just, they have small little pebbles. It's not a whole lot of sand, but they're little pebbles. So mm -hmm. the bottles that have gotten tossed in and there's one spot actually that has a dump just off the coast. They used to dump, this is like 200 years ago. So it was mostly porcelains and glasswares and stuff like that. It just became like the city dump kind of in the ocean, not the greatest thing in the world. But all of those glasses have been tumbled up within all those pebbles and rocks mm -hmm. and they've really gotten polished and it's beautiful, beautiful sea glass. It's called Glass Beach. <laughs> and it's a very wow. little, small, small, small little beach, but it's just like, it's more glass, like, and not sharp, but like really polished and porcelain pieces than rocks. It's so cool. Almost like a pebble. So, yeah, they're like Something little pebbles. Rounded. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Right. So they really can get polished and rounded and just really cool. So very cool. Oh, I love this one. Somebody has said, um, Randy wants to take me to Paris in tw two years for anniversary. So yeah, hopefully COVID goes away. I yeah. That would agree. be nice. <laughs> oh, take me with you. I want to uh, go to Paris. I want to go to Paris. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I've only I been out of the country it. twice in my life. I went to Canada for my anniversary or for my honeymoon. And then we went to Mexico for our 25th anniversary. So it was fun. It was a cruise and everything. But those are the only two places I've ever been other than Michigan and Florida. Hey, those all are those little cool states places between. To yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and create a vacation out in Arizona. So. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. I, well, didn't you go to California for the other creativation? Well, we went to, um, wasn't it in Arizona, James? Arizona. I think it was Arizona. Oh, we had oh, it. Okay. And um, we took, we drove. So we did Route 66, which was really fun. We oh, stopped at cool. all the little specialty shops, like um, the largest uh, rocking chair in the world. And it wasn't the largest ball of twine, but there was somewhere else, some <laughs> other little things that just stopped. He had it all planned out. It was really cool. That's it was cool. Very fun. Yeah, I still, think that, I, did that, that, <laughs> I still think that kind of a trip could be done because you're in your car, you're kind of self-contained, especially if you did like camping or mm -hmm. something and you yeah. didn't do a whole lot of hotel stuff and mm -mm. maybe or if you had like the RV thing. Papers. Yeah, I rent yeah. the RVs and park it at YMCA or not YMCA, but one of those other little <laughs> parks that you can stop at, you know, that'd be fun. Yeah, there's lots of places that you a can do that. That's really cool. You put your feet up. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I, I, I think I heard something along the lines of the RV sales, they're on a waiting list because so many people are oh, wanting to get them right now. Yeah. It's totally I can cool. imagine, well, let's like take your family someplace and do something fun without everybody getting sick. You know, it's like the yeah. perfect little mobile house. As long as you don't like kill each other while you're on the road because everybody's like still, but it's no different than being in your house. It's just a much house. smaller house. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> totally smaller. <laughs> I mean, so yeah. I am dying to ask, you are an amazing crafty person. You've been doing uh, crafts and creative stuff for a very long time. What got you started? Like where did the whole, like have you been doing it as a kid or well, like what's your story? I, I was always big in coloring and I thought none of my siblings ever did. And I thought, well, that's just kind of odd. But I think the creative brain starts very early, like five and six and seven in early elementary. I was always, give me a crayon, give me a crayon, give me a crayon. You know, I needed to color, even those little placemats that you sit at the restaurants. Um, but as I got older and went through junior high and high school, um, more of the energy was spent even being crafty. And I started uh, crochet and I did macrame and I did the little paint um, rollers that you put on tablecloths and things like that with my grandma uh, yeah and stitching and then as I got older I had my first child after I got married I had my first child and started making all of her little Halloween costumes so I got into a bunch of different things and I knew all along that I was crafty it was my place of joy like if I ever got depressed or um, something happened and I was disappointed in life I would intentionally go to the craft store and pick up a cross stitch kit it start on it and all of a sudden it just kind of cross stitched its way right out you know it was fantastic um so i, I think, think art therapy really is a really true I thing like I, 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 all along. <laughs> huge proponent of art therapy in any capacity that you want to do your art so yeah, i love that you brought that up joy. That's awesome mm -hmm. yeah it brings me joy it always has it's just in me so what was the spin to start going into card making because you were talking about all these other crafts sure. but what Dumped well, you into that this category, <laughs> and that's a, that's a fun question because um, I have an autistic child, and we needed to homeschool. We needed to begin to homeschool, so I left my normal job, the regular job that was outside of the home, and we downsized our house so that you know James was able to cover the income that was necessary for me to stay home and not have two incomes. And at that point, I thought, okay, I can't just do geometry homework i just literally cannot read about christopher columbus for the rest of my life and so <laughs> i went online and i found some of my friends that were blogging and i found magnolia stamps was the very first company that i ever actually purchased rubber stamps from and started to create greeting cards with them and i was making some things that you know the girls in the um blog world and we did challenges and all sorts of other little things they were telling me that there's classes for copic ink and there's classes for this and there's classes for that and then if you get on a design team apply for your first design team if you get down there you can get product from the store and start creating for the store and then your name can get out there and it grows exponentially right. and um 
that's how it all got started with Magnolia Stamps was the first one that I purchased and I became a member of some design teams. I think it was on seven, eight, nine of them at once, um, small. And the lar one of the larger ones was Whimsy Stamps. And at that point, it moved from just card making to um, I fell in love with dyes fell in love with dyes. I don't know if you've noticed, but that's the majority of what's in my store right kind now. Of a thing. It is a <laughs> thing. And I, and I fell in love with them. And I started to make SVG cup templates um, in an Etsy store. And that was called Shape Easy. And they were in shapes. So you had baby dresses or apples or cherry uh, tops and, you know, cupcake shapes. And I did a castle and I did also bananas and all sorts of shapes. And I self-taught with SVG cut templates and then was asked to um, begin creating dyes and several of the stores that I was working for, I then started to actually create dyes for them with their, to go with their products basically. And then the revenue began and so an income came along with the hobby, which made it nice because then I was supporting my own hobby. I wasn't yeah. relying on the income from the hobby. Um, and then this grew, <laughs> you know, every little pop that costs you something. And um, <laughs> knowing, knowing that I had an income coming in, it made me feel a little bit better. So um, at that point, the SVG cut templates were down and I began to work for more companies. Um, and then I was contracting. So I designed different products. I went into graphic design and started with... Um, design paper, which I have several of the digital design papers in my store currently. And then from there, I began actually working for those stores in um, advertising and things like that. So it literally grew year after year after year. Yeah. I took, took more on, enjoyed it as much as I had previously, and taught myself and learned what I wanted and what I liked and actually tweaked what I really like. And that's what began TLC designs, being capable of tweaking what I had experience in. So that is so cool. So what does the TLC designs mean? Because it's got everybody's got a story behind the name of it. Like yeah. why did it come with that? Like where did it go from? And <laughs> well like everybody's yeah. got like they always like have to think about their name for like days and days and what days. do I call myself? What am mm -hmm. I? Um well uh, my name is Tammy Louise, and I married into Cunliffe, um, so TLC does go with my name. Um, a lot of people know Tender Loving Care. It's a very familiar acronym um, mm -hmm. set of capital letters that mean something to somebody. But when I really sat down and decided to come up with what it meant in my company, um, I feel learning on a daily basis from someone to live creatively, which is the TLC portion of where the company comes in. The logo is bright and bold and it's screaming Tammy, but the TLC is Tammy Louise come with on her journey to live creatively. And I love that. Thanks. And, and, and it's true. My whole life is based around my children, of course, and my family. But living creatively is something that's it's therapy for me. I enjoy every bit of it. And I um, am really glad to have the opportunity. I'm blessed to have the opportunity to do what I do now and um, put all of my focus and my likes and dislikes out my dislikes out and my likes into what I make and sell in the world in the store. That's cool. Like oh, you've taken your hobby and turned it into your career, which is like yeah. the dream. Right? It is. I love it. it I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yay. All right. So there is a giveaway happening on this video and you have two chances to win one you're there's a winner that we're going to pick at the end of the video or the end of the segment. So right. stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Leave a comment and I'll tell you what the question is in a minute. And the second one is we're going to pick a winner. And Tammy, when are you going to announce the winner? It's going to be on her Facebook page. Sure. And when is that going to happen? I do Facebook Lives every night at 8 p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time on Thursday nights. And on the 25th of March, I'll be announcing both the winner for the Instagram hop which is still currently available right now that we did. We started on the 16th. We're going to be drawing a winner um, and announcing that on the 25th, as well as the one that's going to win from this show is going to be announced on the 25th as well for the 8 o'clock PM Eastern Standard Time. And that's on TLC Designs store page and the Facebook group TLC Designs 
creative sharing. And my so YouTube. I did put her. I did put her link down to her main website, and from there you can go to her Instagram, her YouTube, her Facebook. She's got Love links to, to everything. Yeah. So yeah, fun. You can check her out. So the question: What is mm -hmm. the what is the roaring question here? Here we go. <laughs> so the question is: da, 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 yeah. <laughs> So drum roll. The, <laughs> the drum roll, the drum roll. So the question is, you preferred digital papers or mm -hmm. paper packs, meaning like paper that you would go pick up or order from that they're already printed for you. You just tear them out and then you would cut with them. So that's the reason why we asked the question is because Tammy has a whole line of digital papers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they're super and so, sweet. <laughs> so what do you what do you feel? Because you create them and I've used I create some digital paper packs as well. So I, I mean, I kind of get the idea. Yeah. But, for people that have never used digital paper packs, why do you feel like this is such a really kind of neat idea versus just having paper? Because we always have a ton of paper. Why is this so unique and different? Right, well, digital products in themselves are unique and different because you can create them in any size that you need. So I sell the six by six, but if you have a program that opens it and you can stretch it to a 12 by 12, you can adjust the size of the paper prior to printing. Number two, it's immediate gratification. You purchase it and it gets sent directly with a link to your email address. So there's no running out to the store. There's no catching COVID. There's no, you know, the waiting for the sale. Um, and let's face it, the digital paper is a little less costly. Um, mm. And when you ship paper from a store, you end up paying a higher shipping fee as well. So it all adds up to less expensive, um, as equally, if not more equally productive and um, diverse as far mm -hmm. as like a, even the images, you can flip them and do things like that. Um, what? You never run out. And you never run out. You buy it once. You? <laughs> you just met my husband's doing the electronic stuff over here and he's like, yeah, never run out. That's the truth. When you have a do a little, little sneaker peeker. Jim's in the background. Wait, Jim. Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you never run out. You have it, you buy it once and you can use it infinitely. So there are a lot of pros. So do you feel like there's a better printer to use or paper to print on when you're using digital stamps or digital paper? Because I get asked that question quite a lot too. Well, there, I am using a 65 pound Nina paper. So I think um, I went to 80 and it was a little bit, not um, going as well through the printer. Um, mm. And I can tell you too that the, not laser printer, but the inkjet printer, I have a great deal of success with that. And there is a program, I'll have to remember what the name of it and maybe even post a link at the end here. Um, there's a ink program that you can get on that costs, I think it's $4.99 a month for 300 pieces Ooh. of paper. Yeah, and they continuously monitor how much your ink is being used and being drained. And when your printer starts to run out, they hook you up two weeks before it runs out and you just That's pay the cool. $4.99. Yeah, it's like a revolving I always forget. Ink. So a lot do of you have say, what's isn't it, the brand isn't of your costly? printer? It is. Because I have an Epson oh, it's an and HP. I think it prints. You have an HP. It's an HP I've had a Canon. I've had. I, I'm. I'm pretty much liking the Epson. I think it's pretty easy to work. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't have that cool uh, program that tells me when I'm HP came out. Like. Well, they came out with it, and the ink is so inexpensive. You only pay four ninety nine a month, and you can print three hundred sheets. So I never run That's out. Cool. So you yeah. you're not actually buying the ink on top of the program like that four ninety nine a month includes the ink. So if you're running ink a lot, because that's what I'm thinking, mm -hmm. that's pretty costly. That's to super print cool. The ink. Yeah, I had never heard of it. Um, actually, one of the people that joined my live about a month ago or so, maybe two months, had mentioned it. And I'm like, oh, I never heard of that. And I went in and looked. And if you need more than 300, then you can go, I think it's 1199 and you get 600 or something. And if you accidentally go over the 300, then it's only um, 20 sheets for 10 cents more or something. Mm. It's very inexpensive by That's comparison. Cool. Yeah. So and for I those who never, <laughs> now, this is how I personally use a digital. Like if I was going to print, so for instance, I went through today because we're going to do a little crafting in a minute and I, I went through and I printed out one of her digital papers. Truly, it's as simple as this. And that maybe you have a different method, but this is the method I use. Okay. I open up a Google Doc, like a Word Google Doc because right. everybody's got Gmail or Google or something, right? Open that up. I copy the image from my file, paste it, size it to the size I want and then print it. 
that's as hard as it is. <laughs> and I, I don't totally even usually keep the file after. I just delete the file when it's gone. Sure. <laughs> well, you can just grab it whenever you want it again. You know, and it's fun too. You, you don't have to print all the papers. You just print them as you need them. Mm -hmm. And when you put the paper in there, if you have a sentiment that's digital as well, you can pre add that sentiment to the background paper and you won't have to pop it up. Well, you know, we're going to pop it up. That. Today, this is it. <laughs> but I, I had started to do it and I thought, oh, I kind of want it popped up. So I chose the other way. Yeah. But that's what digital stuff can do for you. It kind of put it together before you print. You want to have to restamp. Yeah. So, cool. so there's the questions now that we've given you all and everybody knows about regular old paper that you buy from the store and you get from the, all the different stores that have them. Um, I, I think there's a couple of times that having a different paper because maybe it's a glossy paper. So there are some perks or maybe it's got a foil on it or something. Right. But you know, those are what I would call specialty papers of some exactly. kind or and. Yeah. Oh, you broke up. We'll switch to here. Was it better? But right back. You're in the larger loud? room. Well, you're in the larger oh, okay. room. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I had to switch my, my mic real fast. I don't know no what problem. happened. Thank you very much for letting you're me welcome. know. You're welcome. Happens. <laughs> <Technical. laughs> yeah, I had to switch from my mic to a different because for some reason my mic just decided to go kaput again. Who knows? But thank you for letting me know. Sure. So, um, but there's a lot of papers that are double sided, and you can print double sided as well, which I think is kind of cool. Yeah, absolutely. You just flip the paper over and print from the other side. Right, right. <laughs> Not hard. <laughs> Very cool. So you have a whole bunch of new releases. Now that we have the question up, keep answering the question and we can pick a winner a little bit later into the show. Okay, so keep answering, keep answering. We'd love to hear your, Hi, your questions and so <laughs> forth. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for jumping on. We absolutely love that. We've got so many amazing people coming. We've got Susie, Melanie, Denise, Barbara, Vicki, Beth. Oh my gosh, nice. the list keeps going. Joanne, Lakita, Fantastic. Mandy, Hassan, and Vicky, Vicky. Gallagher. <gasps> so many amazing Sue. Thank you guys so much for joining great. the premiere episode. Avril, mm -hmm. hello, hello. Yeah, we've <laughs> um, been busy this week. So there is a question about the digi. Somebody was saying, oops, wrong one. I just, it moved up on me. Where to go, where to go? Here, here's a question. Um, you're not actually printing on 12 by 12. Absolutely correct. Unless you have a 12 by 12 printer, those do exist. Um, but for your normal inkjet printers, you are printing on the eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper. But for card making, most of the time, you don't need a full 12 by 12 for the pretty paper that you're trying to use. So you can still use cardstock as a backer, or you can mm -hmm. still use a 12 by 12 sheet you have in your stash as like the main base of your card, especially mm -hmm. for like slim lines or something. So right. Also, a good question. I you could actually take an SD chip and move the file, the paper file, over to the SD chip and take it into Office Max and have them print it 12 by 12 if you wanted to scrapbook with digi paper. Um, or if you had legal size paper and your printer is capable of doing that, you could get at least 11 inches, uh, no, 14 inches on legal paper one way. So you could get it pretty close to 12 by 12 and then kind of put your in a scrapbook. You would have extra room to do something else on the side. But there even are with my to... scrapbook pages, I don't even always use a full 12 by 12 for yeah. like layers that I have in there or mats behind a picture or something. Exactly. So I think there's ways to get around not having a full 12 by 12 for a pretty printed paper. True. That's just me. I tend to yeah. use my solids in the back, back, back. I don't tend to use my printed papers for the back section. Sure. So I'm weird like that. So <laughs> I'm gonna open this up because I want you guys to see the full scope of what Tammy TLC designs and what Tammy has created. So she's got an amazing assortment of products. If you wanna see the full kit and boodle about all the products that she has, or almost all of them, not about 90% of them, we did a virtual booth tour last Saturday. So, or Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. On the 14th. <laughs> there you go. Saturday. I don't remember here. I don't remember. So what? yes, the 14th, I believe that was a Sunday. <laughs> so this you can go back week. over and you can check that out. Yeah. <laughs> feel like ages ago, doesn't it? I um, know. But there's, <laughs> it's been a long week. I've been a very busy girl. This week. <laughs> you, you really have. You've been knocking them out nightly. I mean, two or three shows a day. It's been fun though. I love it. So That's great. Um, if you want to check out all of her things, but we're going to show her newest releases. So you just came out with four new stamp sets. They're super, super, super cute. Um, mm -hmm. Let's go with this guy first. These are Probably illustrated minutes. by Maria Medell, and she's a fantastic illustrator. I love They're that they cool. are 
Yep, they are four by eight, so they're a little bit larger punch for your dollar when these comes to these stamp sets because I wanted to really be able to get some ink in there. I know the littler stamps um, are popular, but you can only get so much color in those, and I like them two and a half to three inch, and they work so cute because they're walking. A lot of these were intentionally designed to use with the interactive dive sets that I have in the store, jumping and leaping and flying and eloquence and all kinds of fun stuff. But these trolls are nice. awesome. They're, yeah, they're kind of walking together. They're going to give each other a hug. You can just see it in their faces. Brings me back to 1980. <laughs> Color me some so trolls. This is the die that we used. And I made mm -hmm. this card on my card making Wednesday. So if you want to go yeah. back and learn how to do and it is the most, okay, I, I got to give a little premise. It is the craziest video I have ever shot. So if you go back in, and Tammy was there, she saw it. I had Poor Aaron. Just, just, oh my God. <laughs> During the live at about minute 13, 14 into the live video. And I'm demonstrating how to make this really, really cool card with this really like fun interactive die set. <laughs> my dog goes flying out the front door barking. A stray dog comes running in my front door barking. My dog, my kids are going in and out and in and out and in and out. I mean, it was mostly, and then another stray dog comes in the house. I mean, it was just like, what in the world is going on right now? Yeah, it, it was a crazy day. So if you want to see comedy happening, you don't actually see the dogs because it's actually behind the camera, but you can hear the chaos happening behind me. And I'm just like, whatever. Hey, this is life. This is real life. It was totally life. It was how. totally life. <laughs> oh my God. It was just like the craziest day in the world. It was too funny. But that's okay. So we got through it. It's a good, it was good. It was actually fun because it brings us into reality. You know, we're not perfect. Oh my goodness. It was, oh, it was one crazy, crazy day. Let me tell you. There's it was some like the coloring. Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's some coloring inspiration on each of these packages as well. The front of the package is actually the other side. There you go. But it kind of shows what you can do, which I think is inventive and it gives you a little incentive to get what colors out that you like or you enjoy. So that's another little thing that we added on the package insert, not just have the actual drawings or the illustrations, but give you a little bit of color so you get an idea what it could look like. It helps some people. Well, Shanna did such a good job on this card. She put the little feathers behind him. It looks like a turkey. He is <laughs> so, so cute. cute. I love oh, it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and then this is actually, is this your high? It is. I think yeah. it's either in There's... the cherry on top or the apple a day. It's in one of the shapes. Look, 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 look. I think it's, oh, it's in the apple a day. It's in this apple one. So it's a H one. I. Yeah. yeah. So she's got a whole bunch of dies, and I just have to do a shout out on these dies because I think they're awesome. Not only are you getting some shapes, you get a couple of different shapes usually, and then a whole bunch of little fun, like there's a bee in here. Or is it a bee? Yeah. It, yeah there's a, a bumblebee in that Bug. one for the apple blossom. <laughs> and that's one of the things that while I was working with other stores, they may or may not have wanted that sort of thing inside the die sets. But I always thought to myself, if I'm going to buy a framed die set, I maybe don't want eight different sizes of the same as that shape frame, but I want to maybe include some things that people will enjoy grabbing like bows or bugs or flowers or, you know, little things and add the tidbits. Yeah. Because now you got a whole scene built in one die set. So. Yeah, that's one of no, the I things that awesome. I brought to the industry that I hadn't seen in the past. So this one's super cute. I think just like they're just so excited and they're having fun. They're going, woohoo! <laughs> I know, literally, woo yeah. Well, he's <laughs> got a springboard to jump off of, and that goes perfectly with the right um, double dial die. Yeah, you yeah. said double dial die. He just flying through the air, trying to catch the bubbles as she's blowing. Yeah, so fun. <laughs> So those are so much fun. And then there's one other one that you just released. Mm -hmm. And this one is, and you got to tell the story of what is an alicorn. What is an alicorn? Well, I looked it up and this is not technical. So I didn't go to the dictionary or anything, but I was taught that, or I learned that the unicorn mixed with the pegasus. So now we got a flying horned horse and it's an got alicorn. It. Yeah. So cute. So, so which is one of them is staring. I just up think of them the as car. my little ponies, you know. I know. I know you can't use yeah, that term, 80s, right? <laughs> because that's like right? some super copyright. So, alicorn, I don't believe is copyrighted in any way, shape, or fashion. But look at this. Me. I think they're so cute. Oh, this yeah. one is the one of the sliding ones again, too. 
Is it a See, I love, she's okay. even has, so you've got the stamp that also says, uh, hey, you can slide. Yeah, the action support. stamp set. Yeah. And yeah. it says yeah. pull so and slide is, and it's got little arrows, all sorts of little one. actions. So yeah. it says slide or you can just do that or it tells you to turn the dial or to push. So some people have those lights that you can push on them. So right. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, there is just so much fun stuff. So we are actually going to create a little bit with you because this is not just a crafty talk show. This is not just a creative shock show. We're also going to create with you and do a little bit of a tutorial okay. with you. So we are going to dual create. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And just to remind everybody to leave a comment. Don't forget to leave a comment about which you prefer, a digital or regular paper pads, about what is your favorite. Um, but the the product we are using today, what we we're kind of playing around with, and I'm going to switch so you can see what I'm messing around with in my example. So here we go. This little girl right here, along with she's got a whole bunch of other fun sentiments. This is That's a freebie beautiful. on the site right now. Thank yes. you. I want to see what you're making. So we're both using the free digital as our go to. But then mm -hmm. where we decided to go after that was just totally on our own. So we're just trying to show you guys how different and unique you can make it. So I'm going to create, I already have all my pieces. Ah. It's very similar. Oh, there's the dog again. He's back in the background. And are He's we going to create chewy. with you? Go figure. <laughs> yes, I would love you to create with me. All right. Do you want to put it down? Funny, we give our dog a chewy and he thinks that, oh, it's time to bark at it. Like he has to talk to it and call it like his <laughs> boss or something. I don't understand why my right. dog does this. Well, because he's a but dog. He's weird. He's a dog, <laughs> yeah. So this was my template that I made, and this card base is actually a five by five. So I just pulled out some craft paper here and then just folded it in half. And then I put a white sheet of paper, and then this is one of your digital papers. And I believe this is called Soft Blush. So this is the digital paper pack that we have. And I picked two different papers. As you can see, this one, it looks like it's got little bubbles and birds and just really, really pretty. Very mm -hmm. soft and delicate. It kind of went with the, the fairy holding her thing, her baby. And then I used this die set to die cut stuff out. And then for this card, whoops, we got a funny looking camera there for a second. Yeah, James is trying to get the red out of the camera. I'm sorry. Uh, it's all good. It works. So for this one, I use the same, just two circle dies here. So these ones are called the Tiny Vine Opal. And I cut a different color background, but this time I went with six by six. So I'm gonna Butter. build it. And then I have white, and then I used a, one of the different paper packs from here, so this one. So I'm gonna Good go ahead joy. and assemble mine. Oh, and then I had, oh, it's on here. Well, oh, I'm silly. And then the sentiment I chose was, I know what love is because of you which is really cute. The sweet, kind of a Mother's Day sentimental sort yeah. of set. Yeah. So, so you can get, now mine is colored in and so is yours. I don't know, did you color yours or did, I think you colored yours. I, yep, I um, didn't color it, it was already pre-colored, but I inverted it because it's a digital. So yours is facing a different way than mine, but it is the same coloring. And you made yours much bigger than mine. And I made mine a lot smaller. So that's the I cool did. thing about a digital stamp. You can yep. size it to whatever size you want, which I think is fun. Yep, absolutely. So, cool. so what die set were you using again? What's the name of your die I set? I am using the Tiny Vine Opal. Opal, okay. not Opal. I It'd be nice if it was an Opal. Looks like you're passing right? out Opals with, you know. <laughs> It's still pink. Um, I am using the scalloped rectangle garden and it has three different sets of uh, frames in it. I'm just going to use the outside frame because she is so large. So we're going to do that. And then the insides, we're going to just build a cute little scene around her. And all I did was print the digital paper out, use the, <clears throat> excuse me, die and cut out the frame. And then I have another die set with a little bit of grass. So we're just going to get my tape runner out. I forgot to get that out early. He's still- Hey Jim, I think the colors are fine. We'll just kind of keep rolling with it. It's all good. Cause you keep going and we're seeing all of the, um, what you're all messing around with. Stuff. We're not seeing what she's doing right now. So we'll just, right. we'll keep it the way it is. It's all good. We can still see what she's doing. Technical Thank you stuff. for trying to help fix everything, Jim. Well, the camera looked, yeah, the camera looked great earlier and now it's just kind of, it's all good. Guys. I know. You know, it's what we get for lives. The light might have changed. Oh, I'm perfect. just popping on you guys out. It's perfect. 
Yep, got to weed out my little bits here. Weedy, weedy time. I thought I got them all, but apparently I didn't. I got sidetracked with something else. Oh, <laughs> I can't I love, imagine what. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I just love <laughs> all. She has like on her diet. She has lots of lots of really cool like elements to it. It's this so is fun. the land of sea dye grass part, and I just absolutely love this dye side. I'm gonna move this down a little. Deciding, I'm gonna pop up my oval. I didn't do it on this one on my on my prototype card. I didn't pop anything off. I left it flat. But for this well, one, I, I have to I'm say I'm extremely impressed that you even got a demo card done because I didn't. <laughs> I, just, I just I literally was just not capable of doing anything more. <laughs> and, you know, I, I it's become kind of one of those. And I, thought, I do so it easy. so as I explain what I'm doing, I don't mm -hmm. feel like, and then I also know I have all my supplies that I need. I'm not missing pieces or something. Right. So right. it's a little bit of that just to make sure that, because I go live a lot, so I always make the prototype yeah. and I make sure everything works, <laughs> everything functions. It's a little bit of a, a check for myself. So, so I'm just going to dab a little bit of color on the edge of this little bush that comes in this dye set, just you so we get a little bit of contrast. Me. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's not the fancy that counts. It's the, it's the end result. And I usually do A2 size cards or I mm -hmm. do slimline cards. And I was like, you know what? I think this is just going to be a square. So there's the, the other thing I love about it is that square cards, there is no wrong size. Just whatever you're going to do for the one side. So for instance, this was five inches. The mm -hmm. length of it would be 10 inches or this is six inches. Therefore, the length right, of it is double it. inches. Right. Just double it. So there's so many options. You can make four by fours, three and a half by three and a half, five and a half by five and a half, two and a, two by twos. I mean, little tiny cards. It's really, really cool. I ended up using the same exact sentiment that you used, which is fine. Oh, funny. I know. Too we just funny. kind of, we wanted the long sentiment. That's why. I think we did. Yeah, we wanted that long sentiment. There it is. Mine's mm -hmm. fast and easy, lemon squeezy. I know. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I love the dyes. And I think that works for you. And then we'll just pop this in here. It's got a cute little birdhouse dye. So there's a question on here about digital is the way to go. How do you get it? Oops. Um, what? Here we go. Um, on TLC Designs, they're just, it's a download. So you just put it in your cart like you normally would put things in your cart if you're going to purchase a product. And all you do is go in. And then when you check out, it is a file that gets sent to you um, through the pro, through the, the e-commerce site that she uses. So right. it's just a super easy thing to do. If you're not sure how the whole thing works right now, you can test it out with the free digital, which is this stamp. So you can really see how everything works and seeing if that's something that you want to do. And you're good to go. I love it. Oh, there's my dog. He's talking to me again. And that's all there is to it. Mine's done. See? Wasn't that awesome? Look how cute. I love it. So pretty. Just a little bit bigger and it's the opposite way. You can kind of just Make it your own. Do it your way. And see, look how different the cards. Like I went with a very white, clean center, and she mm -hmm. fussy cut hers out, so it was really simple in the in, inside there. That mm -hmm. is just so so cool. I mean, it's just so the same image that somebody uses can go in so many different directions. I think it's oh, just so much fun. So, absolutely. So cool. I got little flower dyes. I just, I just went crazy with the die cutting, which I normally do. <laughs> She's having fun. All those little bits, mm, little bushes. <laughs> That's fun. Lots of fun. So we have a winner, do we not? Have we picked our winner? Oh, I think we have. So Jim has been going around in the background here and going in. So I'm going to get our winner organized. Now we have two winners here. Uh, the winners are from last week's show. Oops, hang on a second. I need, I need to fix it. Hang on, hang on. Um, so we have two different shows. The first winner that we're going to announce is from last week's show. It is Michelle Cornick Slater. Congratulations, congratulations. She left a comment and the question we asked on the show from last week, that was for the booth tour that we did. Um, that was the question of whether or not you prefer digi stamps versus the polymer stamps, which are these stamps right here. And again, it's the same thing as a digital paper. So some people are very much, I want to have this or I want to have that. So if you are here, I don't know if I saw her name. It was she here today, is she here? couldn't tell if she was here or not. 
Did I see her name? Which one? Michelle Cornick Slater. I don't know if I saw her name. Is she here? Is she still here? Was she here earlier? She was. Cool. Well, she'll have to come back and watch it again. But email Tammy. She'll get you hooked up with your prize. <laughs> the prize, by the way, is a $20 gift certificate. So congratulations, congratulations. And then for today, let me just edit this real fast. So we have our winner for today. So from today's video, hang on a second. I got to edit. This is quick typing, quick typing. <laughs> here we go, here we go. There we go. I think. There we go. I got it. I got it. This is like production on the on the side here. So today's winner is Hadassa de Rimas. I'm sorry if I said it a little bit wrong. I'm so sorry if I did that. So congratulations for today's winner. Um, and also for the winner from the virtual booth tour we did last Sunday. 14th. Yay! Yep. On the 14th. Congratulations. <laughs> So if you are a winner, please email Tammy. This is the email to contact her at tlccuntliff at yahoo.com and she will get you hooked up. But do not fret. There is still another winner and you are announcing it, I believe, on your Facebook on Thursday, correct? The 25th, yes. Eight o'clock on my live. So if you still leave an answer to the comments mm -hmm. or to the question, which kind of paper do you prefer? And it's okay to say both. It doesn't have to be one or the other. People like to like mix them together, which is totally cool. If you left a comment while we were live today, or if you leave a comment after this video, so on the replay on either Facebook on TLC Designs, my Facebook, Erin Reid Makes, or also on my YouTube, Erin Reid Makes, you have a chance to win another $20 gift certificate. She is just like giving out prizes like left and right. I think it's just <laughs> awesome. Woo yeah. Oh, you gotta I love that. Wait, I can't wait to see what they make with the stuff. Yeah, it'd be fantastic. So do you have some hashtags? So if people want to post pictures or anything that so therefore you can go find them, do you have a specific hashtag for your company? Is it just hashtag, hashtag TLC designs? <laughs> that easy? TLC designs shop. Shop. TLC Got designs it. was taken. I don't know who, but yep, we have hashtag TLC designs shop. Make sure it's cool. two S's in there. So. Two S's in there. So you have a blog hop, sorry, don't, Instagram hop going on right now. So we do. they we can go in. Day. Yep. Go in and follow the rules. I think you have to become a member of the um, one of these sites and then leave a comment and let us know who you are and that you saw the video. And then I will be announcing the winner for that on the 25th as well. That's open until midnight tonight on the 20th, as well as this giveaway. So, yeah. And you've got a few more days on this giveaway. You can probably get away with all the way up until the 24th. 24th, right. Yeah, but the sale in the store ends tonight at midnight. There's a 20% off right now if you use the word celebration um, and run in there before midnight tonight. That ends tonight. So get 20% off any product. What? Whose email? Oh, you want to put the email back up? Got it. Got it. I can do that. Easy, easy. Oh, there we go. You caught, There's you the email for the winner. Saying much quicker than I did. <laughs> She's better at I'm this than me. <laughs> she is. That's why I have the pro <laughs> helping me. I'm like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> ah, it's easy. It's just a click. Super easy click of the camera. It's all good. How long is the freebie available on your site for the digital image that we use today? Twentieth, which is today at midnight. Okay. So you have Grab until today right for. Everything's like pretty much go get it done mm -hmm. today or you're going to lose That's out. Right. So go over there. Go there now. Go there now. <laughs> yeah. Her name is Blessings too. You'll find her in there. So yeah. so cute. Yeah. Is there anything else coming down the pipeline that you want to announce? Little uh -huh. sneak peekers or anything? Anything fun? I love it when you soon? ask me that question. <laughs> um, I am going to do subscription um, kits. They're going to be focused a little bit differently than the normal. I don't choose what's in them. You guys get to choose. You're going to get like a specific item. So an $8 die, you can choose which $8 die. Um, the pack of paper, you can choose which $4 pack of paper. So it's going to be a little bit more you telling me what you want in your subscription. And I think I haven't seen that in the industry. And I think it's important to do that because when I was subscribing to some of the stores, one month I really loved it. 
and the next month not so much i wouldn't use it so i was kind of still spending that money and i thought it's got to be a way around this so i thought about it and i thought well, there is a way to set this up and just get to do it and then um oh stencils i'm so 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 excited about these stencils the company that i manufacture through um for the polymer stamps that i have is beginning to sell stencils and manufacture them as well so we will have some really cute stencils that come out that will coordinate with these stamp sets. So you're gonna see, like if the alicorn set had a bow tie in it, you'll see those bow ties somewhere inside the stencils or little bits and pieces of the dragon set that I have illustrated by Maria Medell. You'll find the little top hats and I'll include those or incorporate those in the stencils so that when you get the subscription box, everything is already done for you. It's color coordinated and it's style coordinated and you're just ready to go. So it'll be fun. Very cool. That's some of the that. stuff coming up. Like you got a whole line of things that you're ready to rare and to go. I mean, you're just like, bam, let's We're go, let's go, let's go. That's right. That's right. Keep it moving. That is Trains so going cool. down the track. <laughs> well, I mean, I love that you're just like you're thinking of the next thing, which I think is awesome. You're not just like, yeah, this is what I got. You know, it's great. I love that your mind is like going forward. Yeah, keep moving forward, you. right? Yeah, you have to. In this industry, you have to just keep the wheels going and know what's out there, know what's popular, keep up with the trends and things like that. And also think outside the box, be a little different. And I think those interactive dies really bring that to TLC designs. Um, I haven't seen any kind of dial like that. And I wanted to make sure that all the stamps kind of can coordinate with it. I mean, we want you to be in the store and use all of the products all the way around. It needs to be a one-stop shop. That is so cool. Yeah. Well, I wanted to say a super big thanks for being on my premiere episode, my yeah, pilot yeah, episode of Erin Makes With. This and is so much you fun. can it is fun. So you can <laughs> check out Tammy. Her link is down to her store. You can check out all of her uh YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram, mm -hmm. Facebook, and her store. Are you anywhere else? Or is that is that enough? <laughs> uh, I think I tweet, but I don't think it's under the store name. I think I kind of <laughs> stick those Twitters in there every once in a while, but it's not big on that one, <laughs> social media. I haven't gotten too much into Twitter. That's the one thing I haven't yeah. done. But you can also find me. We I am live on YouTube quite a bit and also mm -hmm. on Facebook, Erin Reed Makes, Instagram, Pinterest, and also my site, ErinReedMakes.com. And we are coming back with a, another episode to this series next week. So stay tuned for that. We have another new company that is on the, the rise. So make sure you come here and we can interview Exciting. and see who that fun new special guest is. So yeah, I've I'm, I'm already so subscribed. I'm going to be watching every, <laughs> every yeah, single week. Back. I want to know what's going on. <laughs> it's great. So fun. So it's thank you guys fun. so much for joining in. Thank you so much for leaving comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to both of our channels and our places. TLC Designs, Erin Reed Makes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I absolutely love it. And stay safe. Don't forget to just get out there and be creative because mm -hmm. that's what and this is all about. Me. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye.